12 7, 247 to go here in the first quarter. Logan by five. Deontay Coleman sets the inbound to ball. He gets it into Seth Hainer. Seth Hainer crossing the Marshall logo, crossing the half court line. Now he's going to go over to the left, give it over to Stevie Browning, the junior. And he tried to get the entry pass into Deontay Coleman. Nice pass by Browning. You're talking about threading it through a needle. He didn't have much room to play with there, and he didn't need it. So he got it right in Deontay as Deontay now has seven. Shot up here on the other end, no good. And the the defensive rebound goes to Coleman after Browning tipped it around over to him. And now here comes Coleman. He's going to go into the lane. They didn't call traveling or foul. I don't think the ref realized what has happened, but Trevor Andrews said, thank you, I'll just go ahead and scoop and score. Yeah, yeah, he he found himself right there with the the ball under the basket, I think, before he realized it. Offensive rebound, there we go, second chance points. And here we go, Logan putting together a little run here up 16-7, minute 59 to go. As Paul Williamson gets it into Seth Hainer. Yeah, well, we've seen teams turn up the pressure, and and Logan done it right there, a little three-quarters court press and was able to get the turnover. Now Paul Williamson going over to left to right. And Trevor Andrews and he goes up with it again. Yeah we alluded to that wingspan and come in and come in play right there Tony because that was a that was a huge lob that Paul had over over Trevor's head and he's able to get it. Another shot missed this time by number twenty four Brandon Noble, the sixth man for the Panthers. And Paul Wimpson going to come down, fire a three, back rim, no good. Rebound's going to go to Colin Kennedy, the 6'7 senior. And now here on the other end, Chesapeake swinging it back around, pulling it back out to number 33, Javon Thompson. Now over in the corner, number 24, Noble. Thompson, Copley, Patrick Hintz, down low to Kennedy. They goes up with it as Trevor Andrews just kind of let him get that when he backed off of him. Yep. I'd like to see your big man be a little more aggressive under the rim. It kind of looked like a matador right here with the with the cape and, and waving the bull's arms. He just let him go right by him. And Colin Kennedy now with seven. And Stevie Browning had it, and that's stolen away. Here we go, Chesapeake with numbers. Trevor Andrews from behind. Oh, they're going to call it a foul, but that was nice. <laughs> yeah, way, to, way to run the floor, big man. I love it. He, I was like the... I love LeBron the, the last year at Cleveland right. before I hated him. Chasing people down. <laughs> that was exciting because everybody knew it except for number four, Nathan Copley. <laughs> well, you know, good good take on his part, able to keep his concentration. As he makes the first one. His first free throw attempt, first point of the game. And go to the line to shoot the second one is Copley. 18 to 10, 43.9 seconds left in the first quarter. And it's up and good. So 16 to 18 11. Logan by seven. 38 37. Seconds that was. And now Stevie Browning misses it, but Andrews comes up the rebound. Paul Williamson, nice job of pump fake and gets his own miss. Not the most advi- well advised pass I've seen Paul make. Well, that was still a good look. <laughs> it was uh, very creative and unique. Paul Williamson now with 10 seconds. And a Stevie Browning shot three pointer up and no good. Rebound. Goes to Copley, and the long shot in front of the net. Oh, had a chance. We're going to get one of them one day, Tony. We will, and it's going to make ESPN. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. And by the way, we'll take uh, suggestions on the WVSN jingle. Yeah, that's open. If you're a band or you know a band that's listening to this or anybody that's artistly inclined, we would like to like to hear from you. Put us a jingle together, WVSN, WVSportsNet.com, Tony, John, whatever you want to throw into it. Hit us, uh, hit us up on our website. If we like it well enough, we'll adapt it and we'll use it, Tony. I'll tell you what. If people want to go through the effort and give us the jingle, we're going to give them a shot. Or at least we're going to give them yeah. one game. That's right. We'll, we'll play we'll, it. We'll go, with some, we'll go with some feedback from the fans because ultimately it's you fans that keep this thing rolling. Right. We're going to give you as much democratic power as we possibly <laughs> can with the WVSN decision-making. 
Well, let's keep it clean. You know, no yeah. profanity. If it is appropriate, right. we will give it a chance. Right. Again, we're doing not just basketball. Uh, we just started up about two months ago during the basketball season. We got football. We got basketball. We got baseball. We got softball. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna be in it for the long haul. We've we've already been talking to coaches about <clears throat> about this. You know, upcoming August, boys of fall for say. You know, getting our football schedules lined out. Um, we hope to, you know, we hope to have some pretty good baseball games coming up here in about a month or two. I mean, Tony, this the sky's the limit. You know, we do it for the kids. We tell people all the time that's why we're here. And once again, if you're watching this broadcast and you'd like to see your school on WVSportsNet.com, just go there to that website, WVSportsNet.com, submit a request. Tony or I one will call you, and we'll talk about it. We'll see if we can fit you into our schedule. So here we go, back here to the action. 18-11, start of the second quarter. Logan up by seven. Now let's see if they can continue that first half momentum. I mean, first uh, quick momentum over from the first quarter, I should say. Trevor Andrews with the ball. Here's Seth Hainer. Seth Hainer going over. Left to right, and it's stolen away. Deontay Coleman, nice defense there. He did all he could do on Hintz, but nice finish by Patrick Hintz. They're up Chesapeake, 18-13, down by five, and the Chesapeake faithful have made the track over here to Huntington across the good old Ohio River. They're starting to get a little rowdy. Yeah, we talked about how well Logan traveled. It, it's Chesapeake team. They brought a crowd too, Tony. They threw a curveball at us, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't think about them being right across the river. Didn't even think about it either. We're normally in southern West Virginia, not over in the western panhandle. <laughs> As uh, Coleman connects on the three. And I don't know who got that one. Yeah, Mark Hatcher's just not happy at, at, at this Chesapeake team being able to get in the lane and take those kind of shots. I was, just, I was a two, if I'm not mistaken, though. Yes, it was. Good. Team two points there. Yeah. For Chesapeake. Go, go, go Panthers. 21-15. 6.49 to go here in the first half. Logan up by six. Keep it at six as Coleman misses on the first one. Keaton. Coleman has got off to a sweet start to this one. Keaton's checked in for Hainer as well for the Logan Wildcats. If you guys wonder what number 42 specializes in, it simply shoots the three. <laughs> Shoot the ball. Yeah. He had some good quality minutes in Wheeling Park. He didn't hit the score books, but, uh, you know, he got some minutes and he held his own. Well, he's, talk- a, he's a junior. He's got next year yet, too. Well, when we talked to him, assistant coaches from Logan, they're real high on him. You know, that former yeah. former WVIAC, uh, Alderson brought us battler Zach Green on the, the Logan staff. He was praising how well his shot was. He said it may be one of the purest shooters he's ever seen. That's a compliment because Zach Green, he was no slouch at Logan himself from what uh, the stories I've been told. His number 33, Javon Thompson, got a little, little too antsy trying to knock that ball over Deontay Coleman going over his right shoulder there. Team fourth foul here. Fifth, excuse me. Paul gets in Deontay, Browning, now to Keaton Johnson. Now we're to Paul. The take. He saw the baseline. He yep. went with it. That's what a good player does. He breaks it down, and he, and he reacts. He now has nine. And now by right down here on the other end, Colin Kennedy, he's been to Thorn and Logan's side. He has nine. And Paul Williamson, he over to Keaton Johnson. Now to Stevie Browning. And Stevie Browning and one. The junior. Well, we talked, you, you talked about him before, Tony, and him getting overlooked, you know, due to the, the seniors and the 6'7 Air Canada, Trevor Andrews. But he's a good player, Tony. Tell you what, uh, like you said, he may be getting a little overlooked this year, but next year the team will be his and he'll have the experience because they've just kind of been working on his game throughout the year. And, you know, when you have a Paul and Deontay out there, it's easy. To get overlooked, but he, uh, he continues to work on his game. Number four, Nathan Copley there, getting his first basket. Uh, he has two free throws, but he now has four. Deontay Coleman. 
Yeah, Deontay better keep him off his hip. They've been calling that five-second call. Paul nearly lost it there over the backcourt. This is when they're the most comfortable, when Paul Williamson's got the ball at the top of the key. Defense! 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 Nice look to Trevor Andrews down low from Paul Williamson. 28-19, Logan back up by nine with 5.45 to go. And here we go, a three-pointer though, up and good by number 23, Eric Kennedy. They're having time on the perimeter too, Tony, to, to set their feet and you'll get good quality shots. There was Keaton with his first attempt, he missed. Trevor Andrews, tell you what, he picked right up where he left off in that fourth quarter at Wheeling Park. He didn't have the he didn't have the biggest offensive statistics to the first three quarters, but he ended up with about eight or nine. Most of them coming there in the fourth quarter, two big uh, possessions down the stretch. And he now has uh, they're going to call it on the floor, but he has six points on this one. They're just going to continue to feed it down to him. Mm, was... Unlu- unlucky bounce there, yeah. unlucky. But then they got a lucky one right back. Paul Williamson checks it into Coleman. Coleman going to work on Brandon Noble there. They're going to give Coleman with the offensive foul. That'll be his first. And you know, there's only, uh, he was out of control, Tony, but that, that call was a little late. They let the shot already go up. Normally on a charge call, we see it waved off immediately. Charge, but you know, official took a minute. Thought about it. We say it every game. What do we ask for, John? Consistency. There we go. <laughs> Trevor Andrews with the block and another one. It was a block party there for a minute. Trevor Andrews already with four or five blocks. Yeah, how well he baits him in too, Tony, because he just kind of sat back like a snake when he got a little close to the rim. Just the strike. I think, it, I think it was uh, it was 55. I think so is Colin Kennedy as well. He has 11. And here we go, 28-24. Logan only up by four now, and this Chesapeake's turn to make a run. Shot up, no good. Trevor Andrews with the rebound off the missed shot from Austin McMaster. Now Paul Wimps is going to push the ball back up the floor for Logan. They're going to call him on the call the foul on the floor. We're going to give it to number four, Copley, his second personal. I believe it's going to be a one and one here. Paul Williamson 